battlefield has seen the plow the corn is waving and it's peaceful now but love undying still keeps me crying my heart is sighing for you alone when the poppies bloom again I'll remember you There beside the river sage Where we kissed adieu 
When you told me not to cry, held me tenderly. But that kiss was our goodbye. You were gone from me. My lonely footsteps strain where you must always stay. I'll place a sweet bouquet, my token of love, darling. Till we meet again, I'll be ever true. When the poppies bloom again, I. Navigation, take another station. Let's bury piracy with a little burglary. When I was a lad, I served a term as an office boy to an attorney's firm. I cleaned the windows and I swept the floor and I polished up the handle on the big front door. Oh! I polished up the handle so carefully that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. We sail the ocean blue, and I saw sea ships of beauty. We are sober men and true, and attentive to our duty. I saw sea ships of beauty, attentive to our duty. We're sober men and true, and sail the ocean blue. With cat like tread upon our brain, we steam in silent dread. Our cautious way we feel No sound at all We never speak a word A fly's footfall Would be distinctly heard Though in body and in mind Taran, tara, taran, tara We are timidly inclined Taran, tara And evermore inclined Taran, tara, taran, tara to the danger that's behind Tarantara. Yes, and when the danger's near, Tarantara, Tarantara, we manage to appear Tarantara. As insensitive to fear as anybody here, as anybody here. Tarantara, Tarantara, Tarantara. Felons not engaged in his employment. His employment. Or maturing his felonious little plan. Little plan. His capacity for innocent enjoyment. Is just as great as any honest man's. Honest man's. Our feelings we with difficulty smother. smother. When constabulary duties to be done. To be done. Oh, taking one consideration. With another. With another. A policeman's lot is not a happy one. Oh. When constabulary duties to be done, to be done, a policeman's lot is not a happy one. A wandering minstrel eye, a thing of shreds and patches of ballad songs and snatches and dreamy lullaby. My catalog is long through every passion raging and to your humors changing. I tune my supple song. I tune my supple song. Take a pair of sparkling eyes, hidden ever and anon in 
a merciful eclipse. Do not heed their mild surprise, having crossed the Rubicon. Take a pair of rosy lips. Take a figure trimly planned, such as adoration wets. Be particular in this. Take a tender little hand, fringed with dainty fingerets. Press it, press it, in parentheses. Ah, take all of these, you lucky man. Take and keep them if you can, if you can. Take all these, you lucky man. Take and keep, take and keep them if you can, if you <laughs> oh, the things you have to do. Now, have you all got your daisies? Yes. Oh, good. Now, put them up. Come on. In the air, dear. <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? Looks like one big garden of flowers. A few weeds knocking about. <laughs> No, it's all right. Don't make a mess of them. I got them from the British Gnome stores. <laughs> no, so I popped out, you see. I thought, while I'm out getting them, I shall pop into the purple mushroom. No, that's our pub. Oh, yes, I popped in there. I thought, I'll have a drink. You see, I was sitting there, minding my own business. I got a fairy liquid with a cherry in it, and I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was sitting there, sipping away, you see, and the door was flung open, and in came this other fairy. I'm not the only one, you know. <laughs> There's hundreds of them. <laughs> you could be sitting next to one, you never know. <laughs> so, look, this little lady, a lady fairy, she came in. I said, oh, hello. She said, uh, hello. I said, what's your name? She said, Thistledown. <laughs> I said, well, she said, it's Thistledown. Well, I thought she said it was raining heavily. <laughs> crying her eyes out, poor soul. She said, oh, poor image. I said, what's the matter? She said, I've just lost my job. I said, why is that? She said, well, I'm the tooth fairy. You know the tooth fairy. 
She said, I was flying round Leeds the other night. There was a man there. He'd gone to sleep with his head under the pillow and I took all his teeth out. <laughs> now, Daisy's up again, please. That's it. Nice and in the air. There we are, Bernard. Now, you can have one as well. Thank you very much. Yes? You if you wave that, the boys will definitely follow you. <laughs> Two great big burly boxers were engaged to be fighting in the ring. Said to the basher, to the slogger, I will hurt you if you don't hurt me, old thing. While we're in the ring tonight, there's no reason that we should fight. So, hello, came to stay. At first I felt as if I'd like to drive him right away. But soon he proved himself to be so very good and kind that like my dear mama, I quite made up my little mind. Ah, Lodge is such a nice young man, such a nice young man is he. Such a nice man. So good, so, so good, good, so kind. So kind. And to all our family. Every one of them. A lucky girl, I know, cos I'm engaged, and yet somehow I don't think so. John, that's the name of my finance, you see. There's no mistake, he's very fond of me. We used to go for walks, and oh, it was so nice. He always used to kiss me on the same place, twice. Oh. Oh, and in the park, we would sit and spoon, and I was oh so happy. Till the other afternoon, John took me round to see his mother. His mother. His mother. And while he introduced us to each other, she weighed up everything that I had on. Wouldn't you know it? She put me through a closed examination. I fairly boiled with aggravation. Then she shook her head. Looked at me and said, Poor John, oh, poor John, poor John indeed. I'm in a nice bit of trouble, I confess. Somebody with me has had a game. I should by now be a proud and happy bride, but I still have to keep my single name. I was proposed to by Obadiah Binks in a very gentlemanly way. Gave him all my money so that he could buy the home and punctually at 12 o'clock today there was i waiting at the church waiting at the church waiting at the church when i found he'd left me in the lodge oh how oh, he did upset me Blimey. all at once he sent me round a note there's the very note tell us what he wrote
day my heart grew sad, misfortune came my way. I had to learn the old bitter truth all in a single day. The man what I worshipped as I loved my life, after him saying, make me his wife. Another young girl on the sly. So I go straight up to him. Look here, Bill says I. Bid me goodbye forever. Never come back. No more. Think of the arch you've gone and broke. Of the donor you used to adore. Married the girl you fancy. I wish you luck. I do. But I mean to tarry, cause I'll never marry if I can't be tied up to you.
the garden long ago. Started a fashion, fashion's been a passion. She wore a fig leaf you might describe as green. Now every season brings a change of a leaf. <laughs> She'd smile if she would come to town. What would Mother Eve think of my new Parisian gown when I take my morning promenade? Quite a fashion car on the promenade. Oh, I don't mind my voice staring hard if it satisfies their desire. Uh, do you like my mood just a little bit? Just a little bit, not too much of it. And when I show my legs just a little bit, that's a little bit the boys and Song of all, don't dilly dally on the way unless you have big breaths. Big breaths. <laughs> Thank you, Maestro. 